What is up guys and welcome back to Animation Station. Today um, I just wanted to show you guys how to resize an entire animation that you've already created in Krita. So for example, um, we're dealing with our new short film Exos. Uh, we have this scene, which was the first scene. So the first scene, the spaceship or the, uh, the aircraft flew into the scene as you can see. And then on the uh, third scene, we have our character with his cape uh, blowing in the wind. He's doing some type of measuring. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this animation because there's a scene that I've designed in between these two scenes, which is scene two. And this is like basically the very front uh, beam of the ship you could say and the character is standing right here um, doing this so this is actually the scene after that which is a zooming in on the character so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this animation and we're gonna actually make it smaller and put the our character on the platform of this beam so in order to do that the first thing you want to do is grab the entire animation so everything that we did in all these layers on the left hand side except for the background we are going to hold down the shift button and we are going to select so everything here to the bottom which would be here so shift and fill and we're actually going to copy those first so we're going to right click we're going to copy those um, it's always good uh, to keep your scenes the way that you finished them just in case you have to use them again. We're going to go back to scene two here. You're going to open up a new layer. It doesn't really matter where. Uh, actually, it does matter where. Technically, we want it, uh, what do we want? Behind this post, but in front of the railing. So it's in front of the railing and behind the post or even behind the railing. Let's leave it here for now. We can always adjust it later. Once you have a blank layer open, we're just gonna right click and we're just gonna say paste. We're gonna paste literally all those layers as you can see, okay? The next step that you wanna do is you want to scroll up to the top where it begins here. Uh, let's make sure nothing's in here. Let's make sure, okay, good. So we'll hide this stuff for now because we don't need it. So there's our character here, and we have our lines and fills, all that stuff. You're gonna have a ton of overlapping because of the animation itself. Uh, but what we wanna do is just hold all of that that we already pre-selected, the line. You wanna scroll all the way down to where it ends once again. Let's go to here, I believe. No, it's here. Okay, perfect. And you just hold uh, shift again to select it all. And you're just gonna press control E. You're gonna merge as many of these together as you can. It may not do them all, but that's okay. So we're just waiting. You see how the merge takes a little bit of time. What I'll do here is I'll stop the recording for now and then I'll resume once it's uh, completed. Okay, so the merge is just finishing up here. There it goes, boom. So let's take a look. They got it, yeah, right down to one layer there, which is awesome. So I just wanna scroll down and see why we're getting this little overlap. Ah, I see it's just on the very first frame. So if you look down here on the uh, bottom left, we're getting a little bit of an overlap on the very first frame. So we can actually just remove that. We're gonna remove that keyframe. And then I'm gonna select this one here at the very end, select this first one, and we're gonna drag them all over to be at the beginning. Let's try that one more time. There we go. And we're also going to make our uh, scenes here, our clips a little bit longer. It looks like it's ending at 120. So let's just do 125 for good luck. And let's just hit play and see if it plays regularly. And of course, it's gonna take a little bit to render. And once again, uh, anytime you see this, I always tell you that Krita has to be set up uh, correctly for animation. So if you haven't watched that video, make sure you do. I'll leave it in the link below. Okay, so we have our animation loop there. And now what we need to do is resize that, okay? So this is the animation here. It says paint layer one merged. We're just gonna rename it. Say re rename layer. Sorry, just double click in there. <laughs> and we're just gonna say anime, short for animation. 
And then what we're going to do is bring back our sketch. And this gives us an idea of the size that our character needs to be. So normally you can just click on this and you can just, um, you know, uh, grab your transform selection and you can hold down the shift button and you can just change the size of this character okay so as you can see the character change and it will only let you do so small before it becomes too pixelated and it won't work so like if we keep going here keep going keep going uh, maybe it won't do it but uh, won't do it today oh I know why it's not doing it it's because we've only selected this one layer so if you press play on your animation you'll notice the animation gets bigger again so you only changed that one keyframe and that's where the problem persists so what we need to do is we're going to undo what we just did there for the size and you're going to go up here to the animation you're gonna right click and you're gonna say add you're going to just add a transform mask here okay so we're adding a transform mask and what this will do is it will transform the entire animation to stay at whatever size you want it to be so now when we hold down the shift button and we resize our animation like i said before it will only allow you to let it make it so small before it actually disappears Okay, maybe not today. Maybe we're having a good day. All right, so that's where we want it. And you wouldn't worry about uh, this stuff here because we would just draw that in. So you can see that it's blurred. So you got to see, you don't want it too small or you're going to lose the quality of the animation. But what we want is we want it about right here. So I'm looking for about this size. And then when that renders, hopefully it's... Uh, it's half decent. So I wanted the character there, so you're not gonna see the feet. I could even uh, make it a little bigger, and what I'll do is I'll adjust the size of the ship mass. Um, okay, so let's try that, and bring it squared off just a little bit. And I wanna just press play on that and see if it will play, so let's pretend like we were actually looking at the film. All right, and there it goes. So now we've resized that animation to fit exactly what we're looking for it to do. So I want this character to be here. And he's basically, if you go back to this picture, he's way up here on the mass, right? So he's way up here on the mass of the boat, just like that. Or you can call it, uh, I don't know what it's actually called, but if you know what it's called, you can leave it in the comments. But he's up there, that's where he is. So let's just look at that one more time. There we go. Perfect. Okay. All right, so this is how you resize an entire animation. And obviously I'm going to go in and just finish drawing uh, the end of the scope. Uh, but once we export this animation it should look pretty good and we were able to resize the entire thing by putting our character on the mask so this is scene two which is going to be in between scene one so scene one we have the ship coming in scene two we're going to have a long shot of our character here on the uh on the tip of the ship here and then boom we're going to have the close-up and the close-up will be in high detail so that just gives you an idea of where that character is going to be uh, in perspective to the animation. Okay, so that's basically all I wanted to show you. You can use the transform mask to actually transform an entire animation that you've already created in Krita. And you can import that animation into your current layers and you can uh, uh, roll the animation as well. So it's very, very cool and it's going to be super helpful for us as well. Okay. That is pretty much all I want to show you guys. All right, so as always, thanks so much for the support, and uh, we'll see you all again. Cheers. Bye.